Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about calculation of quartiles. How to calculate quartiles for group data. So here systolic blood pressure is given in data set 9200. Is a, there are three patient systolic blood pressure is given, then 5, 7, 10, 15, 11, 9, 6, 2, 68. So 60 is, is the sum of the total frequency, means total number of patient is 68, and there are the group of the systolic blood pressure, class wise, class interval is given. So this data is given. Now we our interest is calculate the quartiles. So then we'll create again cumulative frequency column. So first three, three plus five, eight, eight plus seven, fifteen, fifteen plus ten, twenty-five, twenty-five plus fifteen, forty, forty plus eleven, fifty-one, fifty-one plus nine, sixty, sixty plus six, sixty-six, sixty-six plus two. 68. So now uh, once we have a cumulative frequency column, then we have to write down the formula of the quartile. So as we know, the quartiles divide whole data set in four equal parts. So there is three quartiles, lower quartile, upper quartile, or middle quartile. So notational we can notational we can write q1 q2 q3 so here we will understand calculation of the lower quartiles are q1 how to calculate the q1 so same if you remember group data formula for median so same formula we are using here lower quartile l q1 n by 4 cumulative frequency w f only difference is n by 4 if we are using median so n by 2, if we are using quartiles, because quartile, why n by 2 for median? Median divide whole data set in two equal parts. n by 4, if data is quartile, divided by four equal parts. Quartile, if we are talking about decile, so n by 10, if you are talking about percentile, so it would be n by 100. So this is the basic meaning. Then calculate n by 4, 68 is a 17. Then we have to go for the cumulative frequency column, then lower quartile class interval, likewise median we have done, 120 cumulative frequency up to column 15 is given in the data set, then 10 frequency quartile, width is given, put all the values in this equation and, you, and do the simple calculation, then you will get the, this answer 122. Now, n by 2 is a one, 17 is the important point and cumulative frequency as we know the uh, from we have to find out from the cumulative frequency column. So thank you everyone for this.